I need the research points and I need an iron fire axe. Oh man, what should we do? I think we're gonna take the points. Ah, we got the iron fire axe. Look at that. <laughs> All right, awesome. Oh, that was great, man. We scrapped, we sacrificed an iron fire axe schematic and we got an iron fire axe for a reward. Sometimes things just work out in your favor. Most of the time they don't. Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legs. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, it is noon of Horde Day 14. Um, I am doing pretty good in terms of pre uh, being prepared for the Horde. I went and got the Horde base updated earlier, or upgraded, rather, earlier this morning. And we got some more uh, brick that we can do. I want to make some more uh, stone arrows uh, because we're probably going to use our bow a lot tonight. One of you guys were telling me in the comments I should try a stone spear, you know, just, whoops, uh, to try and reach them a little bit better. So I don't have any points in this, but it would probably be worth a try. So let's grab some of this, and we need some cordage, which will probably be in here. And let's go ahead and make a stone spear, and we'll... um. We'll try it and see how it goes uh, for the hard nine. But I'm going to use archery quite a bit as well. Oh, excuse me. So what I want to do um, during the day for, or for this afternoon is I want to see if we can get the the blacksmith's bench made because I, I need, uh, what, what are they called? These things, iron plating, in order to repair my iron shovel. And we need iron plating for other items too. So, um, and, and I have... Every, I have everything except for 50 research data, so we basically just need to find one schematic that we can scrap to get that. Uh, plus, we have a clear quest, too, that we can uh, we can attempt. Hopefully, it doesn't have any, um, you know, whatchamacallit, those bloated dudes that just handed my butt to me the last time. Um, all right, so let's grab the grass. Let's grab the sticks and the stones. Gonna need all that stuff for these arrows, and that'll make 120. I got 85 on me. Um, now let's let's make another hundred. There we go. Okay. Put these back in here, and those can go back in there too. Uh, no, wait. Wrong chest. Wrong chest. This is my smelting chest, blacksmith chest. This is my resources chest here. <clears throat> okay. So we got that done. Um, let's put these stone. I want to actually keep a few stones with us in case we need to throw, you know, to distract some Zika Roos. Um, I, I could use a repair kit on this shovel, but I don't really want to. So what I'm going to do is, can I stick stuff in here? No, I can't. Um, oh, I can just put it in here for now. Yeah, we'll just leave it in there. And I think, like I said, I think we, we we should be able to do everything else for the blacksmith's forge. Uh, 200 stones, not a big deal. 20 clay's not a big deal. Iron's not a big deal. Paper's not a big deal. It's just uh, we need 50 more research points. Um, so I'm going to stick. I keep putting that in the wrong doggone place. Put those in there. Okay. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and attempt this quest, but with the overriding goal of trying to find a schematic. All right, so food and water we're pretty good on. I got two yucca juice and a bacon and eggs, so we're good to go there. These bricks that I have and these bricks, I'm going to take all of those down to the horde base. We could probably get started smelting this, right? What do we need for iron ingots? Uh, oh, yeah, we need the ingot mold. I, ma I made all the molds because um, it's just clay and sand real easy. All right, so let's put that in there. And then uh, iron ingots. You have to get back in and back out again. It's kind of weird how that works. Okay, so we'll turn that stuff into ingots. I want to keep the scrap iron for now. Uh, do I have anything going on in here? I don't. I made some uh, I made some cornmeal earlier, so... Sulfur powder. Oh, yeah, you know what? We can make... We can make pipe bombs. Well, actually, can we, though? Where do, where do we make those? I bet you we need to make those in the blacksmith station, too. Yep. 
Blacksmith's Forge. That's why we got to really get this, get going on this. Okay, so let's do it. Let's do it to it. Um, let's get up over that way. And okay, so this is a clear quest. You know what I want to hmm, really, really much rather do a fetch because they're just easier. We could cancel it and see if he's got a fetch. Why don't we? Why don't we do that? A nickel ain't worth a dime anymore. I don't even know what the hell that means. <laughs> a nickel ain't worth a dime anymore? What? Um, okay, let's cancel that. Fetch, fetch. Okay, good. We have a fetch at Bungalow House 2. And a fetch at Modular House 3. Uh, this one's closer. So, yeah, let's do that. For you, if we can Good luck. Okay. That place looks familiar. Like, did we go there once before? I don't know. But being as how it's a fetch, we have a much better chance of completing it successfully. They're going to be throwing those friggin' uh, tier two, or I mean, um, bloated zombies at us in a tier two quest at this point. Ain't going to happen, man. Ain't going to happen. Oh, this was the same house we were gonna we were gonna do <laughs> the other time. Okay, no problem. All right, so let's see. We need the satchel is on this floor. All right, we probably I think we have to go through the roof to the top to get through here unless we want to just try and cheese through here. I'm trying to get a... Okay, there it is, right there. I mean, like, right there. Okay. This is going to be a piece of cake. Oh, shit! Okay. <laughs> Suckers! We got it. We got it. We got it. Um, now, I'm trying to remember, where's the fat loot skis in this place? It's probably in the cellar because it wanted us to start at the top. And it had dogs. I don't know. Does this place actually have a cellar in it? Hmm. I don't know. Tell you what though, there's another there's another fetch. Let's just go turn this one in and get the next fetch. Now keep in mind, you guys, the goal of that quest was to fetch. And I did it. And there so there was no cheese involved there. <laughs> I just did it in the most efficient way possible, okay? That's all there is to it. And the safest way possible. So there you go. I did exactly what I was supposed to do. Speak quick and credible. Oh, I baby. Pull it off. Wow. Here's your bounty. Okay, that's like even better than the scrap pickaxe. Thank you. All right. Next job. Um, what's the closest one? Fetch. We have two fet we have three fetches. Um, bungalow. This one's like I've got a job for you. Yeah, okay, let's do that one. Great. If you're lucky, then pull this off. Wow, that was a nice find already. Very cool. You know what we still need, though, is a better axe. I'm still using a stone axe. So I got a really nice pick now. I got a nice shovel. Uh, but we need we need an axe, man. That's what we need. We need an axe, man. Okay, so let's get out front here. Wait, is this the house that has the bloated dude in it? I hope not. Okay, let's see if we can do this safely and efficiently again. It's on this floor. It looks like it might be up in a... 
Well, it's kind of hard to say. Let's walk around here. Hmm. Okay, I can't really tell. I th it, it seems to me like it's on the other side of the house. So let's go on to this side. You're not mean, are you? Okay, he's one of those pigs that doesn't attack. He's not aggressive unless we attack him first. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop in through here. Oh, no, it's, it must be in a basement. Okay. I'm not cutting through that concrete. That's not going to happen. Um, what about... Yeah, see, it's right there. What is this? That's, oh, 5,000 hit points. Could we... Yeah, we're going to we're going to run into a, a really hard to break wall. Okay. Well, let's uh let's go ahead and just go through the house legit then. Uh at least until we can get to that. I know I'm leaving end loot behind, but it's uh we, yeah, I guess we're supposed to go in through the front door. Okay. Got some shoes there. Oh, I got a bunch of stuff I need to sell too. Is this floor going to collapse? Uh, I bet you it wants us to go down there. You know what's going to happen when we do. Okay. So we're not going to just blindly jump down there without a way to get back out. That ain't happening. there too okay so the satchel man there's a lot of firewood down here we know the satchel's up this way what happens if we try to cut through here now uh, you know what let's just let's just do this legit I think I see a janitor zombie right over there. He's so tough. Okay, we need to get some stamina back. He's not... I don't think he's feral, is he? Said he was a depraved utility worker. Oh! You're right there! There, now you did. Okay. Pick those back up. Okay, there's a satchel right there. Uh, 
Okay, so we got that. Um, oh, nice. We will take that. Okay, we got a nice upgrade for our shirt. BDU clothes are always good. Is there anybody else down here? Well, oh boy. <laughs> you guys, I need the research points and I need an iron fire axe. Oh man, what should we do? What should we do? I think, yeah, I think we're going to take the points. I think that's the higher priority right now. Okay, so that, uh, what time is it? Okay, so we've accomplished our goal, actually. Um, we are now able to go, can I pick this up? Table saw. I don't know if I can use it for anything, but let's pick it up. We've accomplished our goal, so let's go turn uh, turn in this quest, go back to the base, and make the blacksmith station, and then... Um, that would really be... That's a lot of firewood right there, but... Yeah, let's just go do that, and then we'll see, you know, how we're doing on time. What you got for us, Manga? Ah, we got the iron fire axe. Look at that. <laughs> All right. Awesome. That worked out pretty good. Okay. Um, there is, there are two more fetches. I don't think it really matters which one. We'll just, yeah, we'll grab that one. And if we have time, uh, maybe we'll do that. Let's grab some food while we're here. Okay, good enough. Why are we so heavy? Oh, because probably that table... So oh, no, we got all that brick. Um, that we want to go actually drop off at the at the place there. Oh, that was great, man. We scrapped... We sacrificed an iron fire axe schematic, and we got an iron fire axe for a reward. Sometimes things just work out in your favor. Most of the time they don't. <laughs> oh, that was good. Okay. Can I get up there? Not quite. All right. You know what? Let's put these in here. I just don't want to forget them. I have some brick already there, but wait, I want more than more than that. Okay. I have a feeling like this table saw is probably just a decoration, so we'll just put it there for now. Um, all right, let's put all this food in here for later. And I'm just going to do a quick putski away ski thingy. Um, everything that's in here I want to sell at some point. And we'll, I'll remove the dyes and all of that too when the time comes. Okay, this is forge stuff. This is parts stuff. Weapon stuff, uh, seeds, I think we're putting in here. Uh, this can go in there. Okay, and that can go in there. The concrete mix, I think we're just keeping in here for now. And, uh, all right, we're good. Let's put these vitamins in here. So, let's get all of our research points. So, we have a total of 200. And let's also um, pin that. Okay, so we need 20 large stones. We happen to have 20 large stones exactly. Uh, we need 200 of these. We need 100 iron. 20 clay. And 10 paper. Okay, so that gets us the schematic. Now, do we have everything we need to actually make it? That's the next thing that we'll have to uh, take a look at when the time comes. All right, while we're waiting for that, let's grab our stone spear and our extra 100 arrows. I'm going to put the sandwich in there. We can put this stuff back in here. This, we are going to... 
trade out for this. That looks like the vanilla steel pick, but it, I guess it's considered an iron pick in UDL because I'm sure there's higher level uh, picks that we can make later. There's a titanium pick and a steel pick. That's what the steel pick looks like. Interesting. All right, cool. Very cool. And we can also now retire our stone axe because we now have an iron axe. Fantastic. All the more reason why we got to get this blacksmith station going because I'm going to need the plating to, to fix all this stuff. All right. We'll just keep this in here for now. I don't know why I'm keeping all this stuff. I probably need to get rid of it, and I probably will. I, I mean, I definitely will at some point. Um, and, yeah, let's just put that in there, too. We have extra coin here, so we'll put that all together. Let's take a look now at this guy. Uh, we will learn it. And we need to make that in the artisan table. So let's pin this here. And we're going to need 20 iron ingots to make that. How many iron ingots do I have? I have 12. Okay, so we got to make eight more because I have no iron ingots in here. So we're going to use some of our scrap iron to do that. All right, so there we go. Okay, there's our eight more ingots. We're going to need 10 clay. 120 scrap, five boards in one log. Oh, and large stone. Okay, let me go grab some large stone while we're waiting for those ingots. Okay, I grabbed a little bit of extra stone because uh, we're going to want some of that for uh, repairing. Let's turn you off. And we now have, ladies and gentlemen, a black smith's forge well we will in about 16 seconds from now that's a beautiful thing that is a beautiful thing okay so are we ready to go we have 184 arrows we've got the the stone spear i'm gonna bring uh these three repair kits along for these two items in particular so we can keep those uh repaired uh we got some bacon and eggs and some yucca juice for sustenance uh, medical stuff. Yeah, what do we got in here? Let's get these painkillers. Um, we might take some recog just to help with, uh, you know, with our bow damage. Let's grab all the coffee that we have for stamina boost. Um, maybe some vitamins in case we get uh, fatigued. What else would we want to bring with us? What do these do? Allows you, allows you to carry more and perform actions normally when you have a sprained or broken limb. Yeah, you know what? Let's grab those, too. Speaking of which, let's grab that. And I, I want to save Grandpa's Learning Elixir for later when we're, like, killing all kinds of zombies with explosives and stuff like that. So we're, we're going to save that for later. Oh, that, speaking of which, though, we do want, uh, we do want these. So we're going to wear those for the extra... Hmm, I don't know. But the tough guys, though, give us the healing factor. I don't know. We'll have to see. If I, I'm going to try not to get hit as much this time, if we can avoid it. Uh, so we have, we only have three painkillers and four first aid bandages. So we, we are really going to have to be careful with that, for sure. All right, let's put that stuff in there. We don't need it. And look at this, you guys. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, where are we going to put this guy? I uh, don't want to put. Uh, bleep, we don't want to. Ooh, we are heavy. I guess I'm just gonna stick him. Uh, let's just put it right there for now. I might move it later, but that's good enough. I know I'm not. I, I'm <clears throat> a little bit in disarray up here in terms of the stuff, but honestly, I'm not that worried about it because of the fact that we're not gonna be staying here forever. All right, let's see. So. We've got 184 arrows. We've got three repair kits to repair the sledgehammer and the bow. We got 
the pipe. We've got the spear. This, I don't even need it. Well, you know what? Actually, yeah, let's just hang on to that for, for a little while longer. We got some blocks there. We're going to need to keep this on our toolbar for repairing. Uh, we got the kniffy. Oh, yeah, that's what I should do is... What does this take to repair? Uh, we want to we wanna try and get bleeds on them. Yeah, the same thing. Okay. Um, I think we need ing ingots to make the these. Yeah, we do. All right. You know what? Let's do then. Let's grab... I have an iron mine uh, nearby. So let's grab these and get them s turned into... Oh, you know what? I think I have to scrap that first, don't I? We'll just make a few more ingots here so we can get that stuff started, but we're not going to have time. Uh, well, actually, okay, how many ingots does it take to make one of these? Two. I wonder if I could pick this up and take it with me over to the horde base and and just repair there. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure about that. Iron darts, metal trussings, iron arrowheads. Yeah, we can start making iron arrowheads too. So I'm I'm probably gonna take a day or maybe oh look. That's what we want to make, you guys. That's what we want to make. If this this uh axe is so good. Uh, at least it was the last time I played. I don't know if he's changed it or not, but it, it was it, it's so good. Okay, well, that just reinforces what I was about to say, and that is that I'm going to probably take a day, maybe even two off after the Horde Night, and we're going to do a bunch of mining so I can make that. We can make a hammer. We can make these. Uh, we don't need to make an iron shovel. Um, we can make an anvil for the... Wait. What is, where's the anvil used at? Is it used here? This doesn't have any tools. Yeah. Oh, it's for Blacksmith's Forge Tier 2. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Well, anyway. Um, the Zombadoodles were ta tagging my ceiling last night. Um, that's the other thing I got to do. What what I think my plan's going to be moving forward is my, my mine's right over there by that boulder. And I think I'm just going to go down deep into the mine each evening. And that'll keep the horde away from here, and that way I can be productive at night. Because if I try and do stuff around here, they just go nuts. So, and as you can see, they even tag the roof a little bit there. Okay, so let's grab these. And I want to repair my shovel. And is, well, wait a minute. Is this knife better than the bone knife? The bone knife's better. Yeah. Okay, it's just that the bone knife wears out so quickly. But why don't we do this? Let's um let's make a couple more of those to take with us. And we'll just do it like that. I'm gonna leave the rest of this here. And I'm gonna leave this here for now. And I think we're about ready to go, guys. I think we're about ready to go for Horde Night 14. We'll grab those extra bows and let's let's head on over there. Guess who forgot the bricks? <laughs> I knew I was gonna do that. I knew I was gonna do that. Okay, we'll park the bike right there. Hop on up, hop, hop up out here. And uh, let's grab all of this as well, but we're gonna, we're a little bit heavy, so let's split those bricks up a little bit. And yeah, I think we are ready to go. So, um, yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. So as you can see, I got this all upgraded to brick, which is 2,500 hit points from the the 1,200 of this. Um, I didn't get that part upgraded. Do we really need to, though? 
I mean, if there's um, the well, the only thing that could hit us from up here is buzzards or spit. Um, you know what? We have enough. We have enough bricks. Let's just let's just upgrade the whole thing. Plus, we'll get a little extra XP for it too. But anyways, all right, guys, that is the end of this episode. So we will obviously start the next episode at the beginning of Horde Night. We'll take on Horde 14 and then see what's going to happen uh, later on after that. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.